Eating better is easier with cool produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Just color your plate with two fruits and three veggies every day. Cool Uzodwala. These five South Africans are ready to show off their cooking skills to impress the judges and win big to become Zanzi's next cooking star. Fresh produce grown right here in Zanzi. Hi, we've got you. Eating better starts with cool five a day. Just add two fruits and three veggies to your daily meals. As we said to make eating better easier, color your plate with cool. Congratulations to each and every one of you for making it this far. You can give yourselves a round of applause. My name is Judith Mailana. I have entered this competition so that I can showcase my talent as a young chef who's trying to make a mark in the industry. So I felt like this is a great opportunity for me to get into. And I feel like such platforms are, can give you the advantage and help you grow. And I will be forever grateful for this opportunity. My name is Trenisha Betula. I'm from Durban. Cooking has always been my passion. In fact, uh, I started cooking from the age of 13. My mom uh, taught me to do that. And thank goodness for that. Today I know to cook whatever meal, you name it. It's always benefited me already, and I'm thankful for that as well. My name is Tara Schulz. I entered the Ku Color My Play competition because it's an awesome opportunity and experience, and it's something very different from what I'm used to. Yes, I love um, cooking and baking, and I'm also very involved in a variety of different sports, which is biathlon, triathlon, laser run road running and swimming. So I'm really, really looking forward to the cooking and the competition. My love for cooking actually comes from a certain phase in my life where I was kind of depressed. So I went onto the internet to Google a recipe and I was like, that's the one I'm gonna make for myself today to get myself out of depression. The kitchen for me kind of became therapy. It's a solace for me in a sense. My name is Kakisho Moleme. I'm from Il Lady Brand in the Free State. So I'm a soccer coach of under 15 kids. Why I entered this, this competition is because, to be honest, I need money. I saw the price and I, I, I pursued myself to enter because I need the, the, the grand prize money. Now, the five of you have been hand selected to show off what you've got. And this week, things are getting festive. Your challenge for today is to create a wholesome, festive plate, yellowing most of the cool canned products. But you must also include baked beans. Mm-hmm. Baked beans are a true South African favorite and quite frankly, deserve a place on anyone's festive table. And uh, at the end of it all, only one of you will make it through to the grand finale. Of course, to help us decide, let's meet this week's Five a Day Superstar. I am Sue Dimini, content creator, full-time mom of two, and avid home chef. So my love for food started when I was kind of just thrown under the bus by my husband, um, who kind of needed to follow a strict and very nutritious diet for his career. And that started making me exploring healthy food in creative and very tasty ways. Well, I don't need to get my kids involved in the kitchen. They just pull up a chair and they will just start cooking with me. And luckily I'm not too concerned about messing in the kitchen. So the more mess for me, the more fun we're having. And yeah, and they, they learn how to cook and they, I think they develop a love for that through messing and playing and experimenting. Let's welcome Sue Domini. Hey Sue, welcome Hi. to the show. Bye, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. And I can't wait to taste your food, guys. <laughs> and to inspire you, we've prepared a dish for you that's really bringing in that festive feel. It's got color, texture, taste. Listen, I'm not going to Sue, will you do the honors? Sure. Whew. So here you have it, our colorful festive plate. Wow. You've got it there in front of you. Okay, so here we have 
roasted lamb. The lamb was roasted together with mixed veg and then the lamb juices together with a mixed veg was made into a sauce. Around it we have the roasted potatoes that was roasted together with the baked beans and it was served with sour cream and some coriander. On the side here we have green beans with chaka laka. We have apple and beetroot salad with crispy chickpeas and feta and some herb emulsion over it. My mouth is watering. Can I just go for it? Mm, go for it, Sue. Mm. Wow, that is amazing. I'm a bit inspired by that dish. I'm definitely inspired by the beetroot. I'm stealing that very much so. This dish is amazing and it has so many different uh, flavors to it and it's so creative and I can't wait to get started with my own dish. There's plenty more variety of dishes you can create with those products, you know? Remember guys, we're looking for that festive flavor and color on those plates. Of course, it needs to be balanced. You'll each have one hour to color your plate. And here's the catch. Behind me is a fully stocked pantry with all the pantry staples and fresh ingredients that you can dream of. You'll have one and a half minutes in the pantry You'll go in one at a time to adhere to social distancing. Once your time is up, the pantry will be off limits. Are you guys ready? Yes! Sue, will you do the honors? With pleasure, Rupert. We've got one and a half minutes to get all your pantry ingredients. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! My love for cooking uh, comes from, I would say, my mother. Since from a young age, my mother used to cook. And growing up, I, I, I loved cooking because of my mother and my sister. So that thing grew up in me and I started cooking when I was in primary. When I was living with my grandparents, I started cooking there. And then in high school, I used to cook to call my friends over so that they can come and taste my food. I cook for a family of five and I can cook anything, any meal, you name it. Curry, spiciness, and the flavor, the it, it's there. I started cooking during 2020 lockdown, and I love cooking tasty, wholesome, simple, and nutritious meals. And I'm also very involved in a variety of different sports, and I really think that nutrition plays a very important part in sport. Your fastest one and a half minute ever, Tara. I went into cooking because of passion. Well, I mean, I really love cooking. Growing up and getting to know everything in terms of spices, ingredients, and this through my mom and my grandmother, uh, it became love at first sight. <laughs> Sometimes I do cook in Valentine's for my girlfriend just to make the romance thing, but it was the 14th of February just to get the, 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 that romance, just to be romantic, and she loved my cooking. Okay, we're going five seconds, Kajiso. Four, three, two, one. All done. I forgot, uh, I forgot a lot of things, hey? I forgot uh, greens, some lettuce, some cucumber. I forgot red cabbage. I also forgot some parsley or coriander. <laughs> I also forgot mayonnaise. <laughs> I believe, honestly, I'm capable of anything that I put my mind on. And my dad has always told me, nothing is impossible. Whether you studied for it or you didn't study for it, if you put your mind to it, you are pretty much capable of it. Contestants, it's time to get festive. You've picked all your ingredients. The pantry is now off limits. Of course, the cool wall will be available to you throughout the hour. And make sure to include cool baked beans as one of the products. Ready, steady and colour your plate. More colour on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072 741 5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzoguad. Get those protein gains with cool baked beans and color your plates. Cool Uzoguad.
Ready, steady, and colour your play. Big beans. I'm thinking Mexico, so let's go to Mexico. <laughs> Nolly. Hi. How is festive like for you at home and how you bring that today in your dish? It's busy, pretty colourful. <laughs> um, that's how I'm going to bring it into my dish today. I'm creating a Mexican stuffed chicken breast. That sounds good. So, yeah. What are you putting into the chicken? Um, I'm going to be putting in the salsa, which I've got um, some peppers in the whole food robot. Um, I've got some of my red onion. I've got these, this four bean from Koo, nice. four bean mix. And then I'm going to be putting in some of this tomato and herb sauce. And then I'm going to be putting in some shredded, um, what's this, cheese. Yeah. Are you giving it a bit of a, a kick? Yes, I am giving it a kick. Mm. I added some spices. Actually, that's the one that I oh, used I on my chicken, chicken breast. Yes, so I wanted this um, taco seasoning. Mm. So I created my own <laughs> by using some of these um, crushed so actually, cheese. Yes. yes, some smoked paprika, nice. some cumin, some oregano, and yeah. Nice. And then that filling, yes. uh, are you going to put it like that, kind of raw into the chicken? Yes, I'm going to saute it a bit in, 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 in the pan and then I'm going to yeah. stuff it in. Nice. Looks great. Thank Looks you. Great. I've been cooking lamb for most of my life. I steam it first, like maybe for about 10 minutes or so. And then I just fry it a bit and then it's soft. It's perfect. So how many dishes are we going to have? Because this is a festive spread, right? Yes. What are we having? So it's chopped chutney, spicy chopped chutney. Mm -hmm. A salad is my beetroot and uh, sliced cabbages and cool baked beans, the hot and spicy. Sweet what is salad. that? That's the sweet corn, or oh, sweet corn with fried mushrooms. Lovely, yes. lovely, lovely. And I've got my beetroot salad and baked bean salad and rice and peas with the sweet corn and mushroom, obviously. Let's not disturb oh. a girl doing her yes. thing in the What's kitchen. Thank you. The festive dish, it's about colorful. Colorful with using a cool brand and with your chicken or lamb. That's what it's about because I don't want to go to somebody's place and eating pap. Rakisha? Oh. That one. How are you doing, my man? I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good, yes. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying my, my best. <laughs> Listen, Kakisho, so how are you using your hero ingredients, your beans, in this dish today? I'm going to mix my beans after I'm doing the stir fry. And then I'm going to use uh, uh, chilies, uh, wow. the, the, the cool baked beans chilies, and mix veg also. And I'm going to mix it with my spaghetti. Sounds good. That's how I'm going to prepare it. What am I going to make? It's stir fry with spaghetti. I think the challenge, it's very easy. Kakisho, and then I see you're already busy doing your lamb chops. Yes. Um, so you're not using the oven? The oven, no. Mm -hmm. No. And how are you going to cook it? What? Fully cooked, you're going to cook it like nicely, well done, and then you're going to re-eat it later on. This is a festive plate that I'm yeah. doing. Yeah. So I don't have to be boring for my guest. No. I want my guest to be like, wow, I want to come back to Kakisho's We plate. don't want to be bored. We want, <laughs> we want Absol excitement. Absolutely. Yeah? That's what I'm going to do. But you know, there's still like 15 minutes on the clock and you're doing your lamb chops now. Is that strategically planned? Uh, I've only given an hour and it's only 15 minutes. I just want to get finished and... You just want it done? Yes. Okay. Yes. Don't, don't overcook that uh, that pasta. Yes. And um, I think maybe get rid of some of that fat in there. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, inside. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And use your oven as well. So you can put that onto a tray and then use it. Use the oven to, to finish the cooking. Right. Okay. And then All focus right. on the other stuff. Thank you cool. very much. Good luck. Sure. Eh? I have to change my dish here because like none of the things that I. I, I I wanted to do and not in the basket, so I have to change my dish. I have to. I don't have a choice. I'm gonna make a hazel baked potatoes. I'm also gonna make some creamy spinach with some mushroom. I'm also gonna make some uh, pumpkin as well as some flavored beans or chakalaka. 
Judith, so tell us, um, how are you going to incorporate your, your baked beans into your dish? I'm going to add them into my chakalaka. I'm going to make chakalaka later mm. on. Now I'm busy with my chicken. I'm marinating my chicken so that it can get in the oven. And then I'm going to uh, chop my spinach. And then later on, I'm going to finish with the baked beans. This because smells it's very, simple. very nice. It smells amazing. Just take me quickly through what is in this marinade. OK, I've mixed uh, cayenne pepper and paprika, some salt and pepper. I've also added some soy sauce, uh, chutney, and some tomato sauce to make my Ooh. own barbecue sauce. So um, Judith, do you think you your dish are, are gonna win us over? Yes, hmm? definitely. Are you confident? Yes, I am. Okay, well, I have to, the proof is in the in the pudding, eh? Yes. As they say. <laughs> so I'm using Ku Sampen beans. Sampen beans is a it's a staple food in the Eastern Cape where I come from, and it's really enjoyed through many different people, and especially during celebrations and for festive seasons. And also, I'm using the Ku baked beans, which we have to use, and that really adds will add a lot of flavor to my dish. And then also, I will be adding some Ku vegetables, the Ku sweet corn and Ku peas. So there's a lot of cans over there. What is that? Peas. A lot of peas, actually. Mm -hmm. Peas, corn, oh, vegetables, corn. a variety of vegetables to go along with. Is that all going into this pot? Um, no, some of it will be served on the side. Oh, nice. Like a side veg thing. So it's a side, kind of side salad for your yes, chicken sure, for dish. Yes, to accompany the dish. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, I look forward to how everything is going to incorporate into your dish. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 45 minutes. It might look like a long time, but it's not. Let's keep it going. Festive season is mostly about turkeys, chicken roast, and lamb roast, you know? So I, as an as Indian tradition, I like to change it for a bit. So I see quite a bit of spices here. Eh? Are you going to mm. blow our heads off with uh, something <laughs> super spicy? Yes, definitely. Chilies. <laughs> Turmeric. So how are you going to use your baked beans in this dish? Okay, I'm going to use it as a salad with tomato, with chopped onions and as a side salad. The cool baked beans, the taste is there, whether it's uncooked or cooked. And whether it's on its own cooked and whether you add like maybe sausages or biannas, it's perfect. So you can create anything with cool beans and it makes it more fun and uh, more delicious as well. It obviously has the proteins we need and whether it's eaten uncooked, it's still delicious. Yeah. And I'm also preparing a curry as well. Ooh, nice. a hot one. Yes. But Devon curries. Mm. I like this as, so this is kind of like going to be part of your base? Great. Yes. Is it grated yes. tomato basically? Yes, I'm uh, preparing a chopped chutney, spicy chopped chutney. Oh, lovely. Awesome. <laughs> you're not doing too many things, right? You sure yeah, you're going to get to everything? I'll do it, yes. Good, I'll do it. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. The judge that I think I will impress most is Basita Nukumalo. Why Basita Nukumalo? She's from Kasi, so I'll try to make more Kasi with the ingredients that I've been given on the day. So I'll try to impress us Basita Nukumalo. Kakisho? Ndadoa. So. <laughs> For December, festive. Oh, oh. Yes, I'm looking forward to having because Haina Nama Yes, Haina Nama. Kin Nam Mutosa Jing Nam The judges that are going to judge for this campaign are strictly like people that know their business. So I have to impress them. Come on, <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I'm going to mix it. Okay, so yeah. 
And this, basil, nice fresh basil. So you're going to put some more of that in there. It's oh, almost like a pesto. Shit, do you huh? Okay, I, I can I can put more of it. Mm. I can put more well, of see, it. Because, I mean, you want some more colour there, don't we? I think the, the, they'll taste it. They'll tell me after that, Kakisho, you didn't do it well. Sorry, oh, Kakisho did well, sharp. More colour on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072-741-5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzoqual. Get those protein gains with cool baked beans and color your plates. Cool Uzoqual. Noli, hey. what's the halang mugel? Um, I am preparing something Mexican for you mm -hmm. today. Mara, get very sharp, kind of seven color style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm giving it a Mexican twist. Um, I've got some chicken with a mes Mexican stuffing in the oven, some roast veggies, and then I'm, I've got some batanato over here, which I'll, I'll just serve on the side with some creamy um, potatoes. Hoobies, girl, hoobies. It is hectic. It looks like you're running out of time. I am definitely push, running out push, of time. Push, I need push, to push. I really don't box myself under one cooking style. I like to do pretty much everything. These oh, I'm about good. to saute and I'm going to add them into my roast veggies. Sauteing pears. <laughs> yes. Ooh, there are levels to these things, Miss. There are levels and then there are labels. <laughs> this is a level. Right, right. Do your thing, girl. Thank you so much, Mom. Guys, we have half an hour left. Half an hour. I was gonna make a Sunday lunch, Santa of course, you know the vibes. I was gonna make that, but. Judy girl, things are happening here. <laughs> yeah, things are happening. There's color, and a is Yeah. Oh, lovely. 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 Oh, and then get rid of the from scratch. And then I have some uh, hazel baked uh, potatoes. I'm going to add some cheese and put it in the oven. I have some chicken. Here I'm making creamy uh, oh, spinach wow. cheese. No, this is a mushroom. festive meal. I can yes, just tell. Yes. And I also have some, some pumpkin in there. Am I allowed to open this? Yeah, I'm just going to put it in the oven just a bit. Judith, you're bringing your A game I here. I am. I hey? <laughs> yes. Nice one. And girl. you're still doing those potatoes, the hasselbacks, so that's yes, still I'm going into the some oven? Cheese. I'm, I'm just going to add some cheese on top and then I'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. Lots of colours, eh? Yeah, and just like a variety of, of dishes that we're going to enjoy here, eh? Hey? Wow. Gorgeous. Let's let you do your okay, thing, girl. Okay, thank you. Everything is going perfect. I just changed my mind. I had to change my meal and luckily, I, 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 I had something in mind, something else in mind, so I was able to, you know, to adjust and make that thing very quickly. So, yeah. Contestants, you have 20 minutes left. Get those dishes colored. Noli, yes. you're sweating, eh? I am, I am. The clock is ticking, so yeah. Feeling the but pressure. But I'm on the roll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on a roll, though. So everything is going proper. I've got my potatoes boiling. And then next thing, I'm going in for the chicken and I realise my potatoes are not boiling at all. Stove is off. So there's a bit of anxiety. The chicken's in the oven? The chicken is definitely in the oven. My roast veggies are in the oven. My potatoes, I'm just waiting for them to get a little bit soft so I can okay. cream them. At this stage, I'm literally sweating bullets. So luckily, I definitely chopped my potatoes to thin slices. So the boiling process and the way that it's going to cook is shortened. Come on, potatoes. Come on, potatoes. <laughs> Another thing that was going wrong, I didn't have my pattern, my butternut on the stove on time. Well, I'm quite nervous. I don't know what's happening with her, but I don't feel the pressure. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> it's the rice. It, sometimes it maybe it's overcooked, so I have to keep on checking on it to see whether it's properly done. But see, I noticed that Pranesha has chili in the lamb chops, in the side dishes, and almost everything. There's a lot of chilies there. Oh, 
tla ba strong a sa bona tshwantse ba ster ke ke life e nana yo it's going to be fire so i think um ka gisho it like us of fire pasta bietjie geoor kook het er ry groente like het as ek wat rarig alles weggekook is in baie mushy pasta oh ek hoop dat as genoeg geur in daar want um die tekstuur gaan definitief die werk I like I like cook for bigger than a car. Mm. According to me, I did a well done job. Congratulations to myself. It looks like you overdid it though, Kakisuman. Can you know my pechatabe? Ah, Dadi, Kikin Tatuma. Dadi, hey, Leno, you seem like a shock to Tisanya and Yan if you're a monastery over Kufa. So, Kaki, to Salin Tata and Tisanyanari, you are going to overcook that Imuva and Yan if you're a Right, right. Okay, Basi, let's let's look at the lamb in here. It smells good. It's, it looks like it's coming all right mm. there. Okay, we're gonna leave you alone now, Kahi. There we go. Yeah, le boa. Le boa na I did bad. Why I say I did bad? Because Arthur, Ruben, they were guiding me and leading me, but just because I was nervous, I did listen, but I overcooked. First time I cooked, I cooked for my girlfriend. It was in Valentine. So what I did it was my best. <laughs> but I just heard everybody say, don't overcook that pasta. And I think it's not all that day. <laughs> yeah, I like to use a variety of different cooking styles. Uh, very healthy, uh, simple, quick, convenient, tasty meals for people with busy schedules. So I'm a student and an athlete, so I like to make quick meals that I can um, have on the go. What I am making um, it shows who I am and um, very health orientated. You've got your good uh, healthy fats from the avo, you've got your carbs from the samp and also protein from the chicken and the beans and the chakalaka from the ku also adds a lovely flavour. Tara, what have we got here my darling? So we've got a very healthy plate with our um, chicken chakalaka mix with mm. some lovely sampan beans and some vegetables and I'm putting some avo on the top for some lovely healthy fats. Listen, mm. avo, avo, avo for mm. me any day. So you're a professional runner, I guess this is also a translation of how healthy you eat. Yes, your nutrition plays a very large part in sports. I like to eat to have good sport performance. Right. Yeah. Tara, you don't have a lot of time. Yes, you gotta yes. keep it moving. Going for it. Gotta Thank keep you. it moving. It's looking good. It's looking Thank good. You. Five minutes left, five minutes Come left. Come on, guys. You guys gotta stop plating, huh? It looks extremely good. It looks great. Perfectly 100% happy. My timing was 100%. All those ladies are my biggest competition right now. All of, all three of them. I'm happy. Overall, I'm happy. Okay. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7. seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Step away from your plates. Here we go. Well done, guys. My heart is beating so, so fast. I am so nervous. My heart is pounding. As they taste it, what the expression will be on the face, whether they like it or not, only they can say. <laughs> Get those protein gains with Koo Baked Beans and color your plates. Koo, Uzotual. Guys, the festive season is upon us. I have to say, I love this time of the year. And uh, I see our contestants have brought some color, some creativity. It's all looking good. Mm -hmm. Some of us who work in the city, December boss means that we're going <laughs> home, we are high, you know. Spend time with our families mm. and whip up the family favorites. But for me, I think it's always about, you know, the influence I have on my family around. Yeah. There's, there's, some, there's some magic that's in the air around festive time. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, just for us, I see, we, we just love being outdoors around the pool and it's light eating and there's big plates and everyone just sharing from the kids to my grannies and grandpas and such a just a lack of date. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, I mean, it's it's that time of the year. It's sort of, you know, you, you kind of like also want to see color the seasons you want to see on the plates. It's obviously summer, you know, it's mm. that time of the year for us. So 
uh, but I like my favorites and I want to see an abundance of that. I want to keep on going back for it. Well, today is all about the festive season and the contestants only had one hour to color their plate. I must say, I'm quite intrigued by what the contestants have produced today and we can't wait to mm. taste. Well, I hope uh, that they got the brief and that we can see and taste it on the plate. Mm. Mm. Let the festivities begin. Let's taste the first dish. I am extremely nervous. The judges are going to taste my food. Yo, 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 get you here, guys. <laughs> Hello, Judith. Hello. Judith, this looks delicious. What did you make for us today? It's delicious. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> My inspiration comes from a blend of a healthy and tasty meal. As you know, that is, it is important to have a meal that is uh, flavorful, that is tasty. And yeah, so I've prepared this meal for you guys. Beautiful. I Thank just love you. that there's a lot of veggies here yes. for me. I didn't even believe that I'm going to make this dish. I just mixed everything. <laughs> I just had to make a plan with what I had. So I just had to make a plan, so yeah. The spinach, the mushrooms, and just the cream really is working for me. Chicken is really well cooked. I loved, you know, just eating the, the, the sweetness that came through there. It was quite good, but yeah, the other components for me needed a bit of work and love. The potato and the butternut is a little bit bland for me and I, I don't know, Ruben, how do you feel about pips being left behind? Well, I think it's just a timing thing. Obviously the hour and the rush, mm. that's why the, the, the pips are there. Plate really looked nice. Uh, the chicken had a nice gloss on it, really lovely flavor. I can almost see the potential of the plate and what she wanted to do. I think that this was just a timing thing for Judith, unfortunately. Well, let's try the next plate. Great. Perfectly 100% happy. My timing was 100% exact and my dish was perfect as well, like I imagined and like I prepared it. What have you made for us, darling? I've actually prepared a delicious Durban style lamb chutney together with my side dishes and most especially is the baked bean sambal. Yes, I'm feeling a bit nervous because um, Mainly because of the salt that I added. Yay! There's a kick here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. For me, this uh, sambal, it's absolute fireworks, <laughs> right? You can see that there's a lot of thought that went into this dish. I mean, that uh, lamb curry, it is well cooked. I just enjoyed the tomato in there. You know, the use of all the products that we were asked to, including the products. But you know, not being a meat eater, I just, you know, I was happy that I've had a lot of options. I've got my rice, I've got my peas, I've got my beet, I've got my chakalaka. That worked for me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Look, I, I have to say, Pranisha, she's from Durban. I'm sure even for us, she brought it back a little bit in terms of, or she toned it down a little bit in terms of spice, but obviously it's still not uh, enough. I love the fact that she brought some of that green chili in there. For me, I'll agree with Arthur. I think, yeah, it packs a punch in terms of the spice, but the flavors are there. You know, the, the sweet corn, she did something to the sweet corn of the mushrooms. Mm. In the rice, there was the, the, the little peas and then the sambals. I, I really enjoyed it. Great effort. Yeah. Okay, guys, can we just, can we get the next plate? <laughs> and some water. <laughs> and water. <laughs> Congratulations to myself. To me. I didn't burn nothing, so according to me, I did a well done job. Kakisho. Tell us about your dish. Okay, spaghetti, le, 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 le pepper, uh, mixed veg, and chakalaka, big beans. Okay, looks good. Mm. You proud, you feel proud and confident about your dish? Yes, I'm feeling proud of it because I'm not scared to try new things in my life. That's great. Shouldn't be scared of anything, eh, Kakisho? Indeed. You did your best. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Kakisho, what did you put inside here? Remember, uh, Sitran, I put my spaghetti and what else, Kakisho? And what else? Because 
I see your lamb chops was done already 10 minutes. That's what I think the, the judges are going to tell me about my food. Sure, guys. Um, you know, for me, the hero of this dish should be the beans, right? Mm -hmm. And I struggle to find that in this dish. I think uh, Kakisho was just sort of completely out of his comfort zone today. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, when we went in to, to chat to him, he was he came across really confident, um, but I think he was unsure about quite a few things that he was doing. He kept cooking those veggies until to a point where they just actually died down, mm -hmm. and now incorporating them into the pasta, it was just lost. The festivity of the of, of the, the, the the stir fry is not coming across, and you're right. I mean, I saw him at the parmesan and the basil, but it's not translating. I'm, I'm not I'm not tasting that. Um, but you know what? I like Akhisho. He's a good kid. Shami is cute. Yeah. And he, you know, coaches kids soccer yeah. in the hood. And he's don't ask a gas, man. Let's just cut him some slack, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a good chap. On to the next plate. Sounds good. This dish is amazing and it has so many different uh, flavors to it and it's so creative and I really hope they like my colorful, healthy, nutritious, tasty plate. Okay. This plate looks so colourful. Thanks so, so much. Tora, just tell us what is in here. So it's a ku chakalaka chicken dish with ku samp and beans. And we have some vegetables, which is ku corn, ku peas and some carrots with some lovely avo on top, which is a great source of some healthy fats. Indeed. I'm very happy with my dish. I really enjoyed the competition and I, everything went smoothly and I got everything I needed. So I was very happy to have completed it on time and have, have had time to plate it and put all the garnishings on and it looks colorful and I'm very happy with it. I liked what Tara was trying to do here. You know, she, she spent quite a bit of time with the chicken, but I think she colored her plate. And in a way, I think her dish sort of fits the brief. This is something that I see myself definitely making after work. So, I mean, also I just like how she also brought in the sap and beans. We know as South Africans, we love that. I, I love my sap and bean. It actually reminds me of my granny's house. But I think that she could have really added a bit more to it to just bring more character to it. Great from the can, but there's such an opportunity that she missed. Definitely just wanted to Elevator a bit, eh? mm. like you said, Arthur. Mm. Yeah, let's have the next plate. Yeah. I, I really think I got what it takes. Um, I really believe in my dishes. They are quite, and they are colourful, which is part of this year. <laughs> Ooh la 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 la, <laughs> presentation, Nolly. Thank you. What have you made for us, Dolly? Okay, so I am calling this my seven color Mexican fiesta. Mm. And the reason I went for Mexican actually is spicy and my dad loves spicy food. I am nervous. I am a nervous wreck, but you know what? I've got this, like I said, I've got the big man with me and fear is definitely not a part of me. So let's see what they have to say. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely see the heart and soul in this dish. For me, this dish really completed everything. The balance, the color was there, the flavors were there. And I quite liked it, um, special edition of the pears. I could eat this whole plate of food and be satisfied, but I'm just gonna be a little bit critical now and just jump into the mash. Um, look, yeah, it, it wasn't like, a smooth, creamy mash for me. I think I did find a few hard pieces still in there that was a bit raw. There's some technical faults, like obviously the chicken is slightly overcooked. The ingredients was there. We could see uh, her preparation of the, the filling, yeah. and now we just couldn't get enough of that in there. Guys, we've tasted some amazing dishes. Five contestants have gone out of their way to please the judges, so it's going to be a difficult one, I think. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Not going to be easy. <laughs> the judges have tasted the contestants' plates, but who will make it to the finale? More colour on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day 
to 072-741-5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Ku Uzugwala. Get those protein gains with Ku Baked Beans and color your plate. Ku Uzugwala. Guys, why are you still here? You know you're high because it's only we now. Why is it only you more? No, no. I don't really get nervous after all years of competing in sport. To my fellow contestants, um, look out. I am here to win it and not to lose it. So, yes, the winner right here. There are going to be only one winner. So watch the space for Kakisho Mulem and making the free state people happy. Congratulations, guys. You did a fantastic job today. I mean, it's never easy to cook against the clock, but I think, I mean, we all think you did a fantastic job. So give yourselves a warm round of applause. Kakisho Mwanake, Tote Urile Matapa. I liked the way you called your dish, ne? Kasi vibes. But, but your dish let you down in so many ways. Just the elements were not coming together, so you called it a stir fry. Then, but there was a lot of pasta, um, and your pasta also just did not deliver. And oh my goodness, that chop was a skepsel of a chop. I love the fact that you have a heart for developing young talent. I believe you're a soccer coach for kids in the hood, so big ups on that one. Tara, we absolutely loved your dish. You nailed the brief. That chicken dish was delicious. There was lots of flavor to it. But I think you just lacked a little bit of elevation when it came to your sweet corn. But all in all, wonderful dish. Thank you. Judith, that chicken of yours, just the color, the gloss on the chicken and the way it was cooked, beautifully done. Your whole plate actually just looked, looked delicious. I think you ran out of time. Your Hasselback potatoes, I don't think that's exactly how you wanted it. I'm sure you wanted it a little bit more crispy Easy. and for that cheese to melt in there a little bit. Tara, Kakisho and Judith, you know, there were a lot of things about your dishes that worked and a lot of us, you know, liked certain elements of it, but unfortunately, you just didn't make it through. Hi. Hi. I really enjoyed the competition and uh, gave it my best shot. Well, those ladies, I feel like they are, uh, yo, they are good, hey? Because I've searched some of them, I've checked their pages. I feel like they are good, so... <laughs> it all came down to two dishes and under this cloche is the winning dish. Nolly. You definitely brought the Mexican flavors home. Ubaba would be so proud of you. Mara, who ya how? Hi, man. It was a bit overcooked. There actually is a weakness in me. Um, I don't really like criticism. <laughs> I try and take it as best as I can. But hey, crit is crit. <laughs> But generally, I think we all agreed that your plate was really perfect. Pranisha, I have to say, for me, your lamb dish, in terms of the tastes, um, it tasted delicious. It also packed a punch. There was quite a, a little bit of spice and a bit of kick in there. But I, I really think the flavors were there. I think I did well, and the judges could consider me. Contestants, it was a very tough decision. Sue, do the honors. Okay, guys, give me a drum roll. And the winner is. Nolly! Oh my gosh, it feels so awesome. Like this is exactly what I wanted and I got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those who don't know how to cook, you know, to experience something as a, as a, as a little dish 
shows you that you are capable of doing anything that you want. The experience that is challenging and shows you that you are capable of doing anything that you put your mind to it. Congratulations, Nolly. As the winner of today's challenge, you walk away with a hamper with more than 4,000 Rand, including Le Creuset kitchenware, a Nutribullet, and cool products. And you've colored your plate to the finale. To the nine contestants, I'm bringing my A game more than I did today. So you better watch out. Nolly has colored her plate to the finale. She did the things that makes the pots to be done. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna go through next? Tune in and find out. Coming up on Color Your Plates with Koo, this Friday at 7 p.m. Five brand new and excited contestants battle it out to earn a spot in the grand finale. And joining the judging panel is Expresso Morning Show presenter and South African sweetheart, Zoe Brown. The best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Koo Uzo Dwala.